President Obama is back on Capitol Hill after a three-state swing promoting his upcoming State of the Union, Union address. Next Tuesday's speech, which, by the way, you'll be able to catch here on One America News, is expected to address new proposals on cybersecurity. One America's Augusta Cassada brings us more from the White House. The Obama administration continues to lay out proposals ahead of the president's State of the Union address next week. Monday, President Obama spoke at the Federal Trade Commission, highlighting ways to fight identity theft and improve privacy online as well as in the classroom. The White House claims that in this increasingly interconnected world, 9 in 10 Americans feel they have in some ways lost control of their personal information. The president warns that this could lead to losses in technological interaction and innovation if further steps aren't taken to invest in cybersecurity. As we've all been reminded over the past year, uh, including the hack of Sony, this extraordinary interconnection creates enormous opportunities, but also creates enormous vulnerabilities for us as a nation and for our economy uh, and for individual families. President Obama is now calling on Congress to pass legislation that would require companies to tell customers within 30 days if their data has been compromised. After the recent hackings at Target, Home Depot and Neiman Marcus exposed a lack of some sort of standards practice that alerts customers in the event of a breach. The president is also asking lawmakers to pass the Student Digital Privacy Act to prohibit companies from selling a student's information to third parties. President Obama will spend the next few days talking tech, speaking on cyber defense at the Department Department of Homeland Security Tuesday and traveling to Iowa Wednesday to discuss increasing high-speed broadband access. And although President Obama stresses that internet privacy should not be a partisan issue, it's unclear whether the new Republican-led Congress will take up his proposed legislation. Augusta Cassidy, One American News, Washington.